Kiri Kiri, my lords and ladies. It's me again, your mighty Emperor Hapuki. <laughs> you're not an emperor. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Peasant donkeys cannot be emperors. What did you say? Nothing. Hmm. Greetings, my lords and ladies. Today we'll talk about one of the most important mechanics in March of Empires. We decided to call it how to stack bonuses. And it might sound simple, but trust me, it isn't. To be honest, we needed the help of the best MOE game designers to compile the full list of sources for war bonuses. It doesn't matter if you're a newbie or a veteran player, you will definitely find something useful in this video. So kick back, relax, and pay attention you peasants! I'm joking, I'm joking, I love you guys. What makes March of Empires one of the best MMO strategy games ever made is the depth and complexity of its gameplay. There are great many different ways to progress and grow in power, which makes it easy to forget something important in the heat of the battle when you are preparing to send your march. This is why we decided to create this video in which we will share all available sources to boost your army before you march against your enemies. Because if you don't know them and your enemy does, you're definitely going to get wrecked, killed, destroyed, Demolished, smashed, crushed, pummeled, burned, dismantled, devastated, ruined, zeroed, slaughtered, decimated, abolished. Hey, it's nice to finally agree on something. Yeah, it kinda is. And so, my lords and ladies, let's start with the easiest and most obvious bonus source. First, we have the researches. In your academy, you can see all available researches, which are divided in six different eras. In order to unlock the next era, you just need to upgrade your academy. Each consecutive era will unlock more and more powerful researches, but they will also cost more time and resources to complete. Each era has additional advanced researches, but for those, in addition to time and resources, you will also need insight, a special research currency which is obtained from daily quests. This is an entirely different topic, so for now let's focus on the bonuses. All researches will give you powerful permanent bonuses which will help you tremendously to grow in might. As we said in one of our previous videos, knowledge equals power, so researches are extremely important. You can also gain a huge amount of bonuses from the Alliance researches. They are divided in three categories, economy, warfare and alliance. Completing those researches will unlock permanent bonuses for all the members of your alliance. The next source of bonuses is your VIP status. The list of armed bonuses here is really impressive. Activating and leveling up your VIP will give you army attack, army health, attack versus encounters, health versus encounters. Keep in mind those are different bonuses, you can stack them up. You also get rally health bonus, enemy player army attack decrease, enemy player army health decrease, and on top of all this, you get improved alchemy rewards. We'll talk more about the alchemy a bit later. Another obvious source of bonuses are the champion talents. Wait, 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 wait. We're getting in very deep waters here. What do you say for the purposes of this video we should focus on one specific army bonus and show our viewers how they can stack it? That's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> Don't be so proud. You're still an idiot. As I was saying, the champion talent points are a huge source of bonuses. To avoid any potential confusion, today we'll focus on my favorite army bonuses, ranged attack and ranged health. When you open your talent points menu, all the army bonuses will be located in the warfare tab. As you know, you can have multiple talent presets which allows you to change your bonuses in a matter of seconds. Now let's focus on the range bonuses. While scrolling down, you can see that the ranged bonuses are in the right column. Be aware that even at the maximum champion level 85, you will not have enough points to max out all the bonuses in the warfare tab. This is why you should focus on something specific like we are doing right now with the range bonuses. Don't waste any points to max out bonuses that are on your path, but you don't need as much as the bonuses in focus. 
Invest only in minimum amount to unlock the next step of the path you have chosen. You talk too much, do you know that? I'll slap you so hard, you'll fall off the real map. Okay, okay, she. The next source of bonuses is your equipment presets. It's nice to have a different preset for the various activities in the game. For example, you can create a construction speed preset and equip it before you initiate a building upgrade. Or maybe a gathering speed preset which you can equip before sending farming marches. Or even resource sending limit preset. Shut up already and get to the point. The range bonuses. Yes, yes, uh, the range bonuses. So. If you're using an army formation with a lot of ranged squads, you just must have a range bonus equipment preset. People usually use the range units to hit encounter camps and farm champion experience. So let's create a range equipment preset. You click on your helmet slot and you type in range. Then select the range attack to filter all your helmets which have this particular bonus. The first item in the list is always the one you have currently equipped. The rest of the items are arranged by power. The top items you see have the biggest amount of the bonus you have selected. Next, we do the same thing with the chest plate and equip our most powerful ranged item. Then we move on to the first weapon and so on and so on until we complete our preset. In addition to the equipment presets, there are also the equipment sets. Those are items that can be equipped together to unlock additional bonuses. You can see all equipment sets by clicking on your champion. Go to the equipment menu, scroll down to the bottom and there they are. The additional bonuses from equipping the set are pretty awesome. This is why you should always try to collect all the items from a set and unlock them. I should lock you in my basement. What? I didn't say anything. You're hearing things again. Did you take your pills today? Guys, if I disappear under mysterious circumstances, it was definitely her. But while I'm still here, let me tell you about the next source of bonuses, the gemstones. Gems are those shiny colorful stones that you can put in your equipment sockets. However, when equipment items have sockets, this doesn't mean you can immediately imbue them with gemstones. This would be way too easy and easy is for noobs. In order to unlock the gem sockets, you must first upgrade your item to 3 stars. We can talk more about this in another video, but for now let's focus on the gemstones and their bonuses. There are 6 different colors of gemstones, red, blue, yellow, green, white and purple. Each color can give you a different type of army bonus, like for example red gems can give you ranged attack and health. Blue gems can give you faction units attacking health. Yellow gems can give you spearmen attacking health. Green are for swordsmen attacking health. White are for cavalry attacking health. And purple gemstones are universal. They can give you army health, army attack, health versus encounters, and attack versus encounters. For now, let's check out the red gemstones with their ranged bonus. If you're building a range set, this round shaped fellow called Topaz is the one you need. At level 1 it will give you plus 3% range attack and health. At maximum level 8 the Topaz will give you 40% range attack and health. With such bonuses your ranged units will make Robin Hood look like a complete peasant. <laughs> you mean like you? I'm an emperor. If Ficha says Ficha three times then I'm an emperor and you're a talking camel. Ficha! 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 You see? I know it, you know it, they know it, even Fitcher knows it. Okay, maybe he's not a donkey because he runs like a chicken. So the next source of bonuses is your Paragon level. You begin your Paragon progression at Castle level 11. At first you have only 4 perks to choose from, but by leveling up your Paragon you will unlock new perks and Paragon skills. You can create different presets for your Paragon perks, just like for your equipment items. Let's check them out. As we agreed, today we are focused on ranged bonuses. At Paragon level 5, you will unlock your first ranged perk. It is called Ranged Guard and provides additional health 
for your ranged units. As you level up your Paragon, you can invest more and more points into this perk, making it more and more powerful. At Paragon level 45, you will unlock the ranged assault perk. It provides you with what? That's right, ranged attack. If you are creating a ranged Paragon preset, your ranged units can also benefit from the Fortitude perk at Paragon level 55. For additional army health, the Bravery perk at Paragon level 60 for additional army attack. And of course, the Fortitude Disbalance perk at Paragon level 110 for decreased enemy player army health. And the Discouragement perk also at Paragon level 110 for decreased enemy army attack. Next, my lords and ladies, this is another major source of bonuses. What you're looking at are the district enhancements. You can see all your castle districts here, which are the castle, the dungeon, the royal barracks, the academy, the city walls, the arena, and the temple. As you can see, only the castle district can be upgraded with three enhancements, while all the rest have only two. We're not going to discuss all available bonuses because I don't want to grow old and die in this chair. So let's check the ranged and army bonuses. In your castle district, you can unlock and equip the Accolade of Courage. It will give you a squad size bonus and army health bonus. Also, in your castle is the military structures enhancement, which gives you army attack and for the third castle enhancement slot, the leadership penance, which gives you rally size and army health bonus. In your temple district, you can unlock and equip the anatomy lore enhancement for extra army health. Then in the dungeon district, equip the town watch practices enhancement for extra army attack. And finally, your city walls district, where you can unlock and equip the broadhead arrow enhancement for extra ranged attacking health. So many bonuses and we have so much more to show you. Let's check out the time limited pools. You can see all your item bonuses and other effects in this very convenient menu on the right of your screen, right between the shop menu and the events menu. If you are preparing for battle, there are great many pools here to help you come out victorious. The most important are the army attack, army health, March size, the specialized army boost, which allows you to boost a specific type of army units, the encounters attack and health boost, and the March size versus encounters boost. There are also a few other very useful but more expensive boosts, like the Conqueror's Fury, which reduces your enemy's attack and health, the Horse Rider's Fury, which increases your attack, health, and March size versus encounters. And last but not least, the Pathfinder's Flare, which increases your March speed. Noise, very noise. Another great source of bonuses are the champion classes. Normal faction champions have only two class slots available, while the champions from the historical story missions have three class slots. This is why you should complete at least one of those story missions and obtain a historical champion. I know they take a lot of time and there's a lot of waiting involved and blah 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 but suck it up peasant, the rewards are worth it. So when you open your champion, in the top right of your screen you will see the champion classes slots. Click on them and you will find all available classes. There are 12 distinctive champion classes in total. Vindicator, Sentinel, Cavalier, Engineer, Elite, Spymaster, Protector, Conqueror, Guardian, Skirmisher, Architect and Pathfinder. It will take way too long to explain all of them, so you can just read them by yourself. If you can't read, just don't play games, you peasant, go back to school. Anyway, if you're playing with ranged units, the best classes you can equip before battle are Ranger, Protector and Conqueror. Each champion class gives you a massive amount of bonuses, so they're a must if you don't want your castle to burn like a bonfire. My brain is burning from all these bonuses. You have a brain? Please keep going because we're going to be here forever. All right, next we have the alchemy. The alchemy is a cool little feature that feature? you can find in the top right of your items menu. There you can pick 
a category and use essences to roll for a limited time boost. There are three categories, economy, war, and utility. Let's check out the war boosts. As you can see, there are plenty of useful boosts for your army. When you roll, you will get one of these boosts at random for a limited time. If you're not happy with the results, just keep rolling. Next source of bonuses is the Holy Site. This is a special world map structure where you can send a march and select one of the available bonuses. Your march will remain there for one hour and unlock that bonus for eight hours. Pretty awesome, eh? Absolutely fabulous! And it costs you absolutely no resources. I love the Holy Site. Next source of bonuses are the spy missions. You can check all the bonuses they provide later, but for now let's focus on the army. The only spy that gives you an army bonus is this sexy lady called the Infiltrator. If you upgrade her to level 5 and use her to successfully complete an intel spy mission, this will provide you with 30% army health and boost for 30 minutes. They call it the Dirty 30. No, they don't. Who calls it that? Okay, they don't. I made it up. Give us the next bonus source, or I will take this sword and I will... The next source of powerful army bonuses is your guardian level. It only gives you bonuses versus encounters, but Fighting encounters is a huge part of the game and you need to kill a lot of these if you want to become rich and level up your champions as fast as possible. When you max out your guardian level, which is level 10, you will have plus 100% attack and health versus encounters and 25% march size versus encounters. You definitely don't want to miss those bonuses. There is also the alliance version of the guardian level, which is called alliance encounters. You can see the progress of your alliance when you click on one of the alliance encounters on the world map. There are two tabs, the themed solo progress and the themed alliance progress. For the solo progress, you need to lead or participate in rallies against alliance encounters. And you can unlock some pretty sweet rewards. But what is more important, when you progress in the alliance tab, you can gain some awesome PvE bonuses that will last for the duration of the entire Alliance Encounters team. And now for the last bonus source, my lords and ladies. It's a bit situational and very territorial, but the bonuses are so big that you simply cannot ignore them. I'm talking about the regional focus bonuses. Those are extremely important during Alliance Wars. The regional governor of each region can set the focus of the capital. The two most important war focuses are mobilization and fortification. The mobilization focus provides you with 20% march size bonus and 10% rally size bonus for the players within that region. The fortification focus provides 175% army health and all units will be wounded instead of killed for all battles within the region. I can't believe we listed all the bonus sources in the game. How many sources are that in total? 69. I'm serious, Hapuki. How many? 17. 17 different bonus sources that can help you boost your army and burn your enemy's castles to the ground. We know that's a lot of information, but we also know you're pretty smart. After all, you're playing the best MMO strategy game in the world. We also know that smart people write things down while stupid people try to remember them. So we made this list for you. We hope it serves you well. You can come back at any time and check it if you feel like you need a refreshment course in bonus sources. Until we meet again, stay healthy and march on for greatness. <laughs>